What is the HTHS viscosity? Good morning. Today we will be talking about an important feature of all oils, HTHS viscosity, that is viscosity under high temperature and shear rate. It is generally known that every oil can is marked according to the CAE standard. Those are well-known numbers like 5W30, 10W40 and others. In fact, this combination of numbers and letters represents a range of different parameters of viscosity, which is common for this type of oil. Let's take a look on the CAE standard that specifies four types of viscosity for each kind of oils. The first two types display viscosity under low temperature and determine these numbers near the W letter, it means winter. These two types display viscosity under 100 and 150 degrees centigrade. They determine oil properties under working temperatures appearing while driving. While viscosity measured under 100 degrees determines oil properties in a crankcase, oil channels, pumps and other units, where speed is not so high and important, HDHS viscosity determines oil properties in the heavily loaded friction units. What does the HDHS viscosity really mean? This is an abbreviation, HT, high temperature, HS, high shear rate. Now we will be talking about it in detail. Let's take the most heavily loaded friction unit in the engine, a cylinder piston group, and take a look at the diagram showing temperatures depending on piston depth. You can see that on average the temperature in the lowest point is about 100 degrees and in the highest approximately 250 degrees for the petrol engine. The medium temperature for the HDHS viscosity will be 150 degrees centigrade. The picture is almost the same concerning diesel engines. The temperature at which the HTHS viscosity is measured is also 150 degrees. If everything is clear about working temperatures in heavily loaded friction units, this is about 150 degrees, the high shear rate parameter needs further investigation. On that reason, we need to understand what viscosity is. Viscosity is a property of a liquid to resist to external input, we will show the simplest example. We take some water and motor oil and look how fast they are leaking out from the funnel. Only one or two seconds for water and about five seconds for oil. This is the easiest way to show how liquids can differ from each other. It is well known for most people that viscosity depends on temperature. Obviously, if we cool this oil down to minus 10 degrees or even less, it can be leaking out from funnel for several minutes. It is important to understand that liquid or motor oil viscosity depends a lot on the temperature. A few words about shear rate. It is a more complicated parameter with a more complicated influence on viscosity. It is easy to demonstrate on this example. We have a glass of 15% sour cream in front of us. If we don't touch this glass and just look at it, sour cream may even seem solid. But when we start mixing it, we can feel an effort on stick and see circles on the surface. Now we increase the mixing speed and see a wave on the surface instead of circles. It becomes easier to mix. It is possible to conduct this experiment at home. What we feel on this stick is a viscosity, which is high under low mixing speed and becomes lower under high speed. This is a crude representation of shear rate. 
становится меньше, перемешивать эту систему становится проще. В общем-то, это и есть такое интуитивное представление о скорости сдвига. In general, share rate is a parameter that helps us to compare different processes. It is not a speed of a stick during the mixing or speed of a liquid flow. It is a speed referred to the thickness of mixing layer. Let me show you one more example. We move a piston inside the syringe. Pay attention that the syringe itself is thicker than needle. The shear rate inside the syringe is several hundreds of reverse seconds, while it is several thousands of reverse seconds inside the needle due to its lower thickness. Let me provide you with some figures of the shear rate from our everyday life. The shear rate of a liquid that flows in the pipe is from 10 to the power of 1 to 10 to the power of 4 reverse seconds. If we paint surface, the shear rate is around 10 to the power of 3 to 10 to the power of 4 reverse seconds. Она составляет порядка 10 обратных секунд. These are some representative examples from everyday life. However, if we consider the oil layer inside the engine, will it be surfaces of cylinder or crankshaft bearings, the average shear rate is higher and reaches 10 to the power of 6 reverse seconds. It is easy to compare the oil shear rate with our everyday examples. It is a thousand times higher than painting the surface. In order to understand the effort that the oil layer undergoes inside the engine, we need to imagine that we paint the wall with a thousand times higher speed, which is comparable with the second and even third space velocity. А эта величина уже сопоставима со второй и даже с третьей космической скоростью. Или вот еще пример. The same shear rate would have appeared in the layer of butter if we had put it on a 30 kilometers bread for one minute. Кусок хлеба длиной 30 километров за одну минуту. According to the CAE standard, HTHS viscosity should be measured under 150 degrees and the shear rate 1.6 multiplied to 10 to the power of 6 reverse seconds. It is very important that HTHS viscosity is stable during the entire service interval. Let me demonstrate it to you on the Strebeck diagram, where you can see the dependence of the friction coefficient on the thickness of the oil layer that is directly proportional to the HTHS viscosity. The optimal figures of the HTHS are in this interval, where the friction coefficient is minimal. Let's imagine that the HTHS increases. As a result, the thickness of the oil layers increases either, as does the friction coefficient. Efficiency of the engine decreases because of friction losses. If the HTHS decreases, it can result in the loss of the oil layer and the intensive wear of parts. The decrease of the HTHS happens naturally in case of mixing oil with fuel or destruction of oil molecules. In the VMP Auto laboratory, we measure the HTHS viscosity using the modern equipment. This is a modern rheometer, Anton Par Physica MCR102. Due to this equipment, we know that the HTHS viscosity in oils during exploitation process is not as stable as should be. That's why in 2015 we offer you to analyze your motor oil for free. Just send us three oil samples new oil, middle run oil, and oil before change.
If you have any questions, you may ask them on the VMP Auto website.